Hello and welcome to episode 29 of my Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker playthrough. We are in Elpis with our new old friend Hiphlodeus, which begs the question, did he remember? Did he remember us? Are we his new old friend because he knows, or his future self knows, that we went to the past so he knew he were talking to the past version of our current version? Because much like in Doctor Who with um, our River, is it River? Uh, with Doctor Who and River, they are going all... We are effectively encountering each, in, encountering each other in the opposite direction from a timeline perspective. Our first encounter with each other is our last encounter for the other. At least it is at the minute. We'll see whether all that changes. Anyway, Hippolydeus. I had to not look up your pronunciation. I specifically watched back my video <laughs> to try and remember the pronunciation because I still want to pronounce the first bit high. No, it's Hippolydeus. Hippolydeus is looking you up and down. We are wearing the wrong clothes. Now then, our friend Hermes, aside from overseeing the facility, he also conducts his own research. Uh, chances are he will be at the main observatory hub, uh, so let's seek him out there first. Attired as you are, however, you stand out a little too much. Our dear Emic Selt wishes to keep a low profile for this errand, so... Uh, do you know how to make a robe? Uh, the basic concept will do. No. In that case, Emic Selk? <laughs> With a chocobo's arse in your face? No. Your whim, your responsibility. You're knocking another thimble of ether out of me. So, uh, the way he scrimps sometimes, you'd think he wasn't a nigh bottomless font of magic. Uh, very well. Uh, I shall make the robe. But perhaps you can assist. Come, let us search for the required materials. Uh, we established first aid. Um, yeah, it's a decent distance away. We are still only about a level ahead of where we want to be. Emmerich Selk, anything to say? No means no, just be grateful I'm letting you wait. Or I'm willing to wait. I'm even willing to wait. I'm going to keep pestering you till you say something. Yes, these creatures su should suffice. Uh, an etheric rope. Uh, you want to use it to capture, shall we say, two patrolodias. Uh There are three species here, I believe. Uh, any two any two kinds should serve. Now, I should mention that the strength of the rope is tied, no pun intended, to the strength of its user. Uh, as your ether is still thin compared to ours, you'll need to weaken the um, petal of ES first. Good luck. I assume butterflies. Uh, you've caught them? Come, come, let's see. Uh, duly weakened and carefully bound, this um, Petrolodius uh, is destined to become cloven. Nice quick first quest. Yes, the... Uh, yes, these fine fellows will do nicely. And now for a spot of um, reversion. Are they going to auto-apply the glamour? Because I can't apply a glamour here. Actually, no, I can. I have the items on me to do it. There, it's ready. It's nothing fancy. 
Uh, but then we're not, uh, we're not try, or we're trying not to stand out. Try to emphasize. Uh, won't someone be angry uh, with us for using these creatures? Oh, it's fine. There's no one around to tell us off. And besides, uh, we can always make more. Or we can always make more um, petrol de ah, uh, they need only a tiny amount of ether. Uh, it may take some effort to get the form and composition right, but anyone familiar with the concept uh, should be a or should still be able to manage it. To manage. Well and good to disguise and educate it, um, but it won't fool anyone who can see see worth damn or who can see worth a damn. Fair point, uh, but at the very least, it should spare you unwanted attention from casual observers. Emmaxilk speaks true. Even dressed like us, your unusual nature will be plain to those who, look, uh, who think to look. Should someone question your presence, don't make up excuses, uh, much less try to explain what you, um, what you actually are. No, best to simply say um, you're familiar. The question is, whose? Ah, of course, Azim's. Um, if you say you belong to him, people will give you the benefit of the doubt for any and all outlandish behaviour. <laughs> Exploiting our associate's absence? For lack of his presence, absolutely. Uh, we're here, or were he here, uh, he would have been the first to propose the idea, and you know it. <laughs> with that, your story is settled. Let us continue with our island. We absolutely must dress the parts, because we would actually look pretty... Uh, it, um, this particular outfit will look pretty good relative to what we're wearing in the minute. It's a very similar sort of affair. Uh, these are level one. Yeah. Uh, no, we don't want to dye that. We want to cast glamour on that from the robe, which should also replace our hat. And then we want the legs. And the boots. Well, we still have an unusual hoodie, but I don't have a, um, a watchman thingy with us, so the hat will have to still work suffice. As dubious as it is, passing you off as it seems familiar is probably the best approach. Should he take offence that others so readily believe his recklessness is to blame, he is welcome to mend his ways. Pass as a child in or pass as a child in your original size? I think not. Argument, or augmented or no, your ether is still far too thin to be considered normal. God damn it! I'm going back to um. Hithalodeus, uh, that's the one. I, I was going back to high. It's Hithalodeus is ready to continue on if you ask. Uh, if you're ready, let us continue along the Agnorisis. Uh, the place serves as an observation hub and residents both. Someone there should be able to point us in the direction of Hermes. decent way a ways. Doesn't look like there's any on the immediate main path. Got fates to be doing as well, but there's none nearby. So no need to worry for the time being. I was wondering what she was examining, uh, but it seems to be the bush itself. 
Let's see if this observer knows Hermes' whereabouts. Yes, can I help you? Uh, we wish to speak with Chief Hermes. Uh, do you know where we might find him? Uh, well now, by your mask I assume you're one of the 14. I wasn't aware there would be a visitation. And between y you and us, this is something of a surprise. Your discretion, is ma uh, your discretion in the matter would be appreciated. I see, I see, my lips are sealed. Uh, the chief should be out conducting observations as usual. Um, his focus of late has been aquatic creatures, so I expect you'll find him at one of the ponds here. The pools, you say? Uh, many thanks, and apologies for disrupting your work. I say, Hithalodeus, um, while I've never met Hermes, uh, you know him well, do you not? That being the case, wouldn't you simply find him by his ether? I, I could do that. Uh, that I could. Oh, well, I, that I could. As you know, Emixel and I can discern the colour of souls. By the same token, we can also see ether um, quite keenly and from a great distance. With this skill, I could readily locate Hermes, but I felt that it would be a waste of an opportunity. We're here to perform an assessment, after all. Uh, by searching the ordinary way, we stand to gain insight into the Eplis, uh and the man in charge of it. Eplis. Eplis? Yeah, it's slightly off. Uh, this is much... Uh, this is uh, this is as much for your own enjoyment, like as not, but point taken. If you're going to accompany us, make yourself useful and help us look for Hermes. Uh, according to his profile, he has short, dark hair. So you know, um, it's because we're in a police uh, that we don't have our cow or our cows up. Cows up. Crowls up? Crowls up? I think it's crowls. Um, a special exemption due to the need to be aware of dangerous creatures. Uh, elsewhere, we do not exhibit our, exhibit our individuality. Uh, it's unseemly, and this is all common sense. Uh, but I would not assume you. <laughs> but I would not assume you possess any. Uh, it's a rare treat indeed to be able to search for someone by their appearance, and I thank you for humouring me. Come, let us find our man. Oh, I forgot there's a button. There we go. <laughs> now we absolutely look the part. That one looks a bit bigger than all the others. Why is that one a bit bigger than all the others? Because it's not actually an enemy. In fact, it doesn't look like anything here is an enemy. Isn't there an aetherite here? There is. It's past all this long. Short. Dark hair. Near a pool. Be winged girl. <laughs> uh, they have such funny faces. sound like Van Daniel.
Greetings and salutations. Can you hear me? Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. I wish only to hear your words, share your feelings, and know your thoughts. May we please be friends? <laughs> May we please be friends? Ah, I see you found him. It's Ladeus. It's been a while. Too long, I think. Too long indeed for close collaborators. On this blessed occasion, I bring not only myself, but others who long to speak with you. You are of the Convocation. Emmet Selk at your service. Do I have the honor of addressing Hermes, Chief Overseer of Elpis? Elpis, I was close. You do. You have traveled far for it. Given your facility's purpose, its remote location is something of a necessity. Would that I didn't have to rely upon a guide. Oh, you wound me. Have I not ever been an attentive and helpful friend? But moving along to more agreeable company, this one we chance to... Well, you certainly have her attention. Is she one of yours, Hermes? Her name is Meteon. It means shooting star. Hmm. If I may make an observation, her ether is terribly thin. I fear she might dissipate at any moment. Nor do I believe you've made a submission to the Bureau. I would remember such a concept if you had. I haven't, as you say. I judged it too early. She's a pet project of mine, still undergoing preliminary testing. But rest assured that I will attend in person ere long. Very well. Being an authority on flying life forms, I appreciate that you are exacting in your work. Makes sense for his name. I shall look forward to your submission. I'm very sure Hermes could fly. I know he was he was or predominantly known for his speed, being the messenger of the gods. If we have finished with the perfunctory chit-chat, I would discuss official matters. By my coming, I trust you already anticipate the subject. I have an inkling, yes. Please wait to the main building yonder. I shall join you as soon as I've returned these creatures to their homes. And then the stoma is missing. Well, once there was five, now there is four. Hmm. I may have found it. A creature with the self-same ether as those there, nestled in the boughs of a tree outside the grounds. You're saying they can climb with their sorry excuses for limbs? The fashion has been to imbue aquatic creatures with the power of flight, ever since the words of Mitron created a sky-swimming fish. 
the Ambistomas too can fly, if only slightly. And they could conceivably climb a tree. Whether they can come down safely, however... Excuse me. This lot? <laughs> <laughs> May I suggest we split up? If you would be so good as to assist Hermes, Emmett Selk and I shall keep an eye on these adorable creations in the meantime. Uh, the tenets of the words of Matron uh, is to create aquatic life, uh, both unique and beneficial. Aquatic. Uh, what would possess them to put creatures in the sky? Uh, and is it even aquatic to begin with? The Amberstroma uh, was submitted to the Bureau not long ago, and I am pleased to see that it has found its way here. Uh, we make sure these th oh, these little ones don't wander off uh, like they're adventurous fellows. Go and lend Herm Hermes a hand. Okay, that's back in the other direction. Assume we're not going to get told there's one over here now. No, it's still back in the other direction. There they are. Um, Hermes, are you alright? <laughs> Hermes, are you alright? That's what I was saying. <laughs> it seems Hermes and Meteon uh, have found their quarry, uh, a creature known in this age as the uh, Amberstormer. Yet, though it has been safely extracted from the tree, Hermes appears to have found himself in quite a quite the predicament. The Amberstroma, Hermes saw it up high up in the tree. Uh, he climbed to get it, but it jumped on him and he slipped. Uh, everything under control, I trust. <laughs> Do you need a hand? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine, if a little embarrassed. Um, now, for your own safety, please stand back. <laughs> Not exactly a graceful landing. Uh... Hermes, are you all right? Quite all right, yes. My apologies for making you worry, Me uh, Meteoron. Uh, both you and... Um, I haven't introduced myself yet. Nathan Skidmore, are you called? An intriguing name, somehow reminiscent of a new creation. Uh, thank you for coming after me. As for you, little one, uh, you must be more careful. You may be able to fly, but that doesn't mean you can fall or you cannot fall and hurt yourself. Oh no, I had forgotten all about its fellows! Truly, what a relief. I must thank Emmett Selk and Hifflodeus when I return to them. But first, uh, the distractions out the way. Or with the distractions out the way. Chief Overseer of the Eplips. Eplips. Eplis. Eplis. Elpis. Uh, permit me to welcome you to our facility. I hope you will enjoy your time here.
stares at you unflinching as if regarding something novel. Uh, regarding it in turn, you notice that it appears to be floating, if ever so slightly. I'm glad they're safe, Hermes and the um, Amber Stormer. Having found the wayward Amber Stormer, Hermes is the or oh, Hermes is the picture of a leaf. Well, we mustn't keep the others waiting. Let's return to um, Agnosis. Agnosis. If only everything was voiced, but then I'd have very little to say and do. No more errant creatures to distract us from matters of actual import, I trust? It was blissfully uneventful in your absence, and the little ones were on their best behaviour. Some creations stay outside, while others stay at uh, Chrysalis. Chrysalis, something like. Um, like the uh, Amastoma. Stomas. My apologies for the trouble. Uh, owing to your kind assistment, assistance, all Amastoas are safe and well. I'll present them back to their space. Uh, if you would go on ahead to the main building. Upon entering, you'll see a table and chairs, a meeting area, when we speak there. Very well. Take care not to let the creature slips away again. I guess we're going with them. Let's attune to the Aether Light. It is past due. That choke of a key? No, that's going to be a... Um, Gem trader. Uh, we decided to open a shop to keep my little creations fed. Um, my wondrous wares can be yours for the right amount of bio-coloured gemstones. Unfortunately, we have not gone through six fates yet to unlock mount speed. Maybe I'll do that between this episode and next, because I'm going to have to have lunch and go shopping as well, so I've got plenty of things to be doing. If Ladeus. While Emexelk has been accompanying us thus far, uh, he is the one who has business with Hermes. Uh, if you wish to attend, you will have to ask his permission. This appears to be the place. And here is where we part ways. We will be discussing highly sensitive affairs. Only a select few may be privy to such knowledge, and that does not include someone who cannot or will not divulge their origins. Fair. What? Will I have to remove you by force? Uh, there are reasons I cannot speak freely. Let's hear them then, these reasons of yours. Who knows? If I deem your mysterious cause worthy, I may even be inclined to offer my assistance. We don't need to tell him that the fate fallen or befallen our planet or the our star in our time is the same one that's about to um, befall his. I do not object to his attendance. Hermes, this is highly irregular. Perhaps. But I believe he can be trusted. Meteon would not have taken to him so quickly otherwise. Moreover, the presence of a third party may help me to maintain composure. <sighs> As 
Jewish, then? Behave yourself. Do you hear? If they're actually going to discuss the final days and the fact that they've started to detect things are wrong, then that helps us. So, it's finally happened, then. I, Van Daniel has declared his intention to step down and named you as his preferred successor. In recognition of your knowledge and your works, the Convocation is giving the recommendation due consideration. As one who does not know you personally, I am to use my impartial eye to take your measure. And above all else, to ascertain your disposition towards the invitation. I understand that you and Van Daniel are close. He himself was once chief overseer of Elpis after all. I should not be surprised if you knew before anyone else that he wished to relinquish his office. I did. He told me that when he fulfilled his purpose, he wished to pass the torch to me. A torch you seem none too pleased to accept. Are you so averse to serving on the convocation? No, it's not that. For a humble researcher like myself to even be considered is an honor beyond words. No. What troubles me, what I struggle to come to terms with, is the very fact that Van Daniel is stepping down. Does this not mean that he will return to the star? Of his own volition, yes like so many others have before him. Return to the star? Does that mean die? That half answers a question I've been wondering. Whether or not the Amarotians were effectively immortal. And by the sounds of just that part of the conversation, the Amorotians decide when their life is done that they've accomplished everything that they want to accomplish and they release their ether to the star. Well now, that's not a word I hear often. Is that what you say here in Elpis? Mankind is the life of Atheris. Each of us a drop of blood flowing through its veins, bearing sustenance. In our finite time upon it, tis our duty to make it a better place, that all who call it home, now and in future, may abide in happiness. To that end, we have dedicated ourselves to the pursuit of enlightened creation, and by our efforts did we transform this once untamed wilderness into the peaceful paradise you enjoy today. To return to the star whence we came is a privilege afforded to we who have so loved and nurtured it. A choice embraced by those who have lived their lives to the fullest, in service to our world. And when they depart upon this journey, it is beautiful, always. The Fourteen are no exception. Tis believed no occasion is more felicitous than the fulfillment of one's duty. Our office becomes our lives, and to retire is to return, or so the majority of us hold. Some few have elected to eschew custom. Mayhap you feel Van Daniel's deeds do not warrant his return. Yet you should know his accomplishments as well as any. During his time, he conceived of countless outstanding concepts. And channeling the wealth of experience he attained here in Elpis, he brought forth many new specimens. I know of all this. I do. 
it's just... I cannot fathom why someone so great and wise, who could still do so much good, would want to end it all. That's a poignant thing for him to say. Oh no. I've made her upset. Forgive me. I know I requested your presence. Might I trouble you to take me to your outside? A change of scenery would do her good. Maybe it's not quite as simple as I'm making it. Most would jump at the chance to serve in the conversation. Conversation, convocation, and yet. Don't mind us, my friend. Please tend to me uh, meet you on. I'm sorry, Nathan. I didn't want. I didn't mean. <sighs> a walk, perhaps. Can we go for a walk? Forgive me. Uh, I'll make it up to you. I promise. Don't worry about it. Uh, Hermes gets sad when he thinks about death. When others are sad, I'm sad too. That's how I am. That's how he made me. Don't worry, I'm fine now. So, why did you come here? You want to learn about Eplis and Hermes? Oh, oh, I can teach you. Uh, I can teach, or teach you, I can teach you. Uh, we could take turns. I tell you something, then you tell me something. Oh, oh, sure, why not? Sounds like a bother. Sounds like fun. <laughs> it will be, it will be. Hmm, where to start? Ah, yes. Uh, let's talk to my man on. He should be near the etherite. Uh, I'm not good at explaining, but my man on is, uh, so I'll have him explain instead. Uh, Mitrion is now accompanying you. Keep her at her side in order to proceed uh, with the quest objectives. Blah, 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 blah. Question, can she jump? No, she just phases through the wall, which is good enough. Ah, the Aetherite. Anyone can use it to teleport anywhere. Well, maybe not anywhere. Uh, not to the ground or the other islands. Uh, for that, you need teleporters. Oh, and permission. And what have we here? Uh, though you look like a person, your ether is quite thin. Uh, I assume you're familiar, like Mitron. Is there something you need? This is Nathan. Could you teach him about Iplis? Elpis? Ah, a newly arrived familiar, I see. Very well, I should be glad to instruct, uh, instruct our, fi our fair facility to him. As you know, it is, the duty of, uh, it is mankind's duty to make the star a better place. Uh, as part of this duty, we employ creation magics to bring forth new life. However, we cannot simply release our works into the world, uh, for it would lead to chaos. No, any and all life forms must undergo extensive testing to determine their fitness to exist. A testing which is conducted here in uh, Elpis. Every candidate is subject to rigorous study, in which we identify their properties, surmise what habitats might be suitable, and speculate as to the effects uh, that that may have on the environment and other species. Should it be judged to be benefic a beneficial addition to our star, uh, it will be allowed to take its place in the world. The two of you, too, were created with the hopes of making the star a better place. So heed your masters well and be and be good, do you hear? We will, uh, Memamon. Of Memnon. Uh, we will. Thanks for the lesson. Uh, you had a turn? Now I get a turn. Where did you come from? From the Crystarium, I guess? From a place facing a great threat. 
from far, far away. There's such a place. I had no idea. But this place, it's important to you. I can feel it. Oh, my power. I haven't told you about it. Uh, a creation. Uh, let's find a creation. Uh, one not being watched. Then I'll explain my power. I imagine you're an empath. Or... Something that's part of you is going to become part of, um... Oops, I shouldn't have bounced Those are both A-rank hunts. Um... Ah, there's one over here. Of course, it's that thing. <laughs> Discuss the spiggins. Spiggins? What are spiggins? Oh no, we call them uh, or, uh, oil. Uh, if there are many. Uh, if it's just one, we say oh yes. Uh, though they are cute, they can be naughty. Sometimes they run off with con concept crystals and Hermes has to run after them. <laughs> oh, this creation is perfect. But I don't remember seeing it before. Perhaps it's new? Anyway, uh, I'll try reading its mind. That's my power. I get the feeling you're going to get nothing from it. Hmm, I can't read it. Or maybe there's nothing to read. Wait, please, wait. I'll try again. Um, with you this time. Greetings. Can you hear me? Why are you surprised she did this earlier? Uh, this is my power. I can read emotions of those around me and project my emotions to the others in return. I'm not actually speaking to you in your mind. Rather, you are converting my emotions into words as intention. Uh, a process... Um, performed subconsciously by intelligent life forms. This ability is vital to my mission, for it allows me to interact with intelligent beings even should they communicate via unknown languages uh, or other non-verbal means. As a consequence, I'm clumsy at speaking. Yet, though I struggle to express myself in this fashion, Hermes wants me to speak as much as possible. Uh, for everyone has thoughts and feelings they may wish to hide. Uh, I harbour an affection for you. Uh, that one is difficult to define. Aside from the fact that you share common traits with us, your thoughts are complex, prismatic. They draw me in and leave me wanting to know more. Out of respect for your privacy, I refrain from using my power uh, when speaking with you. Nevertheless, I want you to know that I wish, uh, wish to be your friend. Did you hear me? <laughs> good. Now, it's my turn again. So, what are you good at? Fighting, crafting, gathering, playing, it's a seek, playing, it's a... <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> Uh, let's go with playing. Playing? I'm not sure what that means. 
Hermie says, let's play, but then goes for a walk uh, or looks at other creature uh, creations. Uh, it's fun, but no different from work. Stare. I, I think we might be bothering it. Let's keep going and go see um, Uth Uthanus, uh, Ether uh, Uthanus next. Uh, she's usually in the small building um, on the west row. I was looking at the word or the name and trying to tie it to other names and Eugene's what came up. I assume. Uh, there's one right behind this building, but they're going to be all over the place. Oh, whoops. Did we leave her behind? I forgot we mounted. We're not allowed to mount when we're having some more followers. Uh, there she is. If I got a two-person mount, would you come with me then? Welcome, welcome. If it isn't Meteon, I've... I see you brought a friend today. Uh, greetings, Euthanus. Uh, um, an apple. Could you make me an apple? Uh, the kind Hermes likes, covered in syrup. I want to share it with Nathan. Oh, candied apple. Hermes is certainly partial to them. Um, but you know, you... Uh, but you know you can't eat, Matri uh, Matrion. Matrion. Um, you weren't made to do so. But, but, I like it too. It may seem that way, but it's due to your ability to share others' feelings. Uh, you've taken Hermes, Hermes' likes for your own. In any case, I can't prepare an apple right now, but I'll bring one for Hermes soon, I promise. I'm sorry, Nathan. I wanted to show you my favourite thing. Um, then could I ask you about yours? Uh, then I could ask you about yours, but I failed. Tell her what you like. Oh, that's what you like. Yes, yes, I can feel it, your joy and happiness. Uh, and it makes me happy too. Thanks for sharing it with me, Nathan. Well, we've walked and talked a lot. Maybe Hermes has finished talking too. Let's go and see, shall we? Whoops. Ah, excellent timing. It was a refreshing consultation, I hope. What? Back already? Pity. A bit longer and we might have snuck away without you. There you are. I can see the fresh air has done Meteon good. Nathan wanted to learn about uh, Ipli uh, Elpis, uh, so I taught him. About this place, my, about my power, and about your favourite food. I'm not sure if that last one will be of any use. But I do appreciate you keeping me to your own company. Uh, while you're away, I finished speaking with our guests. Finished? Hardly. You requested time to consider the invitation, so we have no choice but to occupy ourselves um, with an investigation of your work, or an inspection of your work. My apologies. Uh, it has been decided that MXL Elk and Hippolodeus will accompany me as I tend to my duties. Uh, if you wish to learn more, perhaps you would like to come too. I am compelled to remind you that he is in no way associated with the convocation. Um, we simply chanced to meet at the uh, Propolithian. Uh, there is no guarantee that the matter we discuss will remain private. I do not mind. I see the joy in his, pres uh, his presence brings Mitrion, uh, Mitrion, 
and I cannot imagine our mysterious friends harbours malice intent. Nathan is kind, really, truly, he has taught me as much as I taught him. You're coming, of course, to watch Hermes. You're bound to learn lots and lots. Okay. We'll quickly speak with each of these again. Uh, this time, uh, we'll all get to walk uh, for, go for a walk together. Isn't it exciting? Uh, it is held that all civilized, all civil organizations should conduct their affair with total transparency, and the convocation is no exception. But that doesn't mean we are obligated to show our work to unknown entities such as you. Consider yourself privileged and behave accordingly. Though I see the new, or, though I see new creations on a daily basis, uh, here they look at them with a different eye. Uh, it will be interesting to observe Hermes' work. Well, can we go upstairs. We can go upstairs, but we can't go through the doors upstairs. Okay, let's pop outside for the sign off. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the show. Let's get the bush out of the way. We shall continue this next time. Cheerio.